Hey there guys, what's up? It's JP here and I'm back and uh, I do realize I missed a couple of days on my Hillstone daily videos because um, you know, the server was down one day and the other day I was just uh, really busy. So yeah, I'm finally back with another video here. Uh, I did try and play around a bit with a few, a few new decks. Uh, we have Total Dominance here which is win 7 out of 5, or rather win 7 games in any mode and I've already played 5 games so... Um, I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. As you can see, I've been playing a bit of mage. Just a little bit, not too much here. And uh, since it's any class, I think I'm just gonna play something that I'm not I'm not too great at here. Um, let's see. I'm not sure if that's really loud in your ears or not. I guess we go. No, we seem playing. It. Let's go control shaman. Uh, this is a prototype shaman deck that I've been working on it's not your conventional shaman or oh, it, it's more or less the same shaman that you always see but it has a few tweaks here and there uh, no doom hammers no alakirs that kind of thing actually I'm not really sure if it runs alakirs I've not checked this deck or uh, I've not played this deck in a while so I can't remember what I put in it now the reason why I actually don't climb the ladder is because I play so many classes. Or death. Alright, so I think I'm keeping... Uh, you know, I think I'll keep it like that. Like the Yeti is pretty good. Uh, the Azure Drake on the other hand is not. Or the Azure Drake, however you want to pronounce it. So let's wait for this guy. Um, now it's really hard to tell whether this warrior is the mid-range, miracle-ish looking warrior or the control warrior. Uh, he's really nice, so let's say hello. Call him friend even though he's not really my friend. Uh, and there you can see one of the unique features of this deck, the Earth Elemental. Uh, this this card is actually really bad, but I find that against Zoo it's really powerful, so it's in here just to counter Zoo decks. But it's a really huge risk here. So I'm not going to play this until I see all the executes come out. Uh, only after the executes come out am I going to play this. And uh, this will be an extremely powerful creature for him to deal with. So... Either if I disconnect it or yeah there we go disconnect it. So let's try and connect back in. And uh, I'm getting reconnected. Oh apparently it's my turn already, so let's play the totem, come on. <laughs> come on. Uh, I hate it when it does that. It's nice to see that they fixed that. At least now you can see the name of who you're playing against. So I'm not really sure if I'm connected again. So yeah, let me just apologize to him. Sorry that happened. All right, so let's see here. So this one one totem is really really bad. Speak to me. Um, not because I have this. Guide me. So yeah, we'll give him a card. Uh, I don't see why not. And next time we're just Yeti. I think the Yeti's the best player. See if you can bait out a couple of executes or anything along those lines. The thing about Shaman against Control Warrior is that you just give them so much time to do whatever they want. That it can be really hard to get a win. <coughs> okay, so let's pop down the um, Yeti. I was considering the Earth element the unbound elemental, but uh I don't think this would be big enough of a threat to warrant any removal. Or at least not the really big removals that I'm trying to get out, like executes. 
Alright, so that's the shield slam. Nothing too unexpected there. So let's draw a card off of this. Oh, that's a really nice draw for me. <coughs> and I'm still holding on to a coin, so... Technically, I have a little bit more to play around with on my turns because of the coin. Alright, he's going to armor up. Uh, that's really really curious there, so let's do it like this. So that at least gets rid of the armor here. So now that it's turn 7, I expect the big stuff to start coming out. Things like Gohao and uh, things along those lines. The Go Howling, the Earth, uh, or rather the Fire Elemental is extremely painful here. Like you don't want to take 6 to the face. But he might have to here. I wonder. <laughs> hmm. So it looks like he has a few cards to play around with. Um, I'm not going to play any more minions because of Brawl. So... What now? Hopefully I can bait out a few removal here. That's the cleave. The execute should be right behind the whirlwind. Okay. That just feels really like a huge waste there. Is that an execute? That's an execute. Fair enough. So we're gonna do the I think we're gonna play the Unbound. And then now the question is do I My Seal for Argon? Yeah, so I think that was the best move here. Uh, this should bait up more removal. So it's five to seven here. Uh, and I have both hexes in my hand and the secret weapon so I need to beat out one more execute and then I'm good to go and I think is I don't have another big minion so there's no real way for me to beat up the other execute I'm hoping that this uh, unbound does it for me because once it gets too big there's no way for him to remove it outside of Gohal or execute what now Yes, what now? Oh, that's the current. So we're gonna hex it. I'm not entirely sure if the totem was a good idea, but... Um, because the totem might make my board look a lot bigger than it actually is which might bait out the brawl a bit too early I don't really want him to brawl quite now I would like to have at least the current out when he brawls so at least I know I'm getting back at least half a current alright that's the gohal it's not really the worst thing we could have done Slam. So yeah, he's getting in really, really bad shape here. Uh. Oh, and the Taunt Totem is like the worst nightmare of a Gohal. <laughs> like, you never want to see the Taunt Totem when you're playing Gohal. Um, so this will be a good time for him to brawl. A Baron's really good here as well. So it makes no point to swing it like that. Way. 
so let's see how I can go about doing this here. Uh, the totem is the best move. Um, the question now is do I want to hex the Baron or the sh is Earthshot sufficient? And I think the Earthshot is enough. So I'm gonna trade this like that. And then I'm gonna play this like that. So I do have a slight card advantage, but it's a control warrior, so this is that advantage is negligible. Oh my goodness, that's really bad. So as far as possible, I would have liked to keep the Hex for the um, the Sarah but I think I kind of need to use it now so do we want to earth elemental it will overload me for three so I'll have uh, I think now is a good time here. Yeah. He might brawl. I assume he has the brawl by now. Uh, 13 to 14, yeah, he should have the brawl in his hand. This is a pretty good card to brawl. Oh, okay, Ragnaros is a pretty good answer to this as well. So. Ah, oh, that, that was such a shame for him here. Yeah. I think I'm going to want to give Rag a lot more targets here. So at this point, it's actually bad to draw. <coughs> because it's, you know, likelihood it's going to be one of my cards. Though the Earth Elemental is a great card to draw. You could throw something in and reduce the chance of me uh, getting a good brawl. So clearly there are some plays in his hand, uh, if not he would have been thinking so hard. Guessing something like a whirlwind is in there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I did not see this coming at all. And uh... Hmm. I actually have like no way to deal with this. Wow, Deathwing. I've never actually seen this run before, so uh, I wasn't expecting this card. I'm guessing it's just gonna swing straight for me instead. Or rather, uh, swing for the elemental. Let's put him in 10 though. See if I have anything to answer this. Uh, so if I don't hit Deathwing, I'm pretty much screwed. 
Alright. Looks like I got a little bit lucky there. That's the armor up. And he can't just like uh he could just brawl now but Oh my goodness. He's gonna try and rush me down here. Um oh. well played. Well played. <sighs> so let's see if he's got me here. It's gonna be really, really close. He needs to do six damage. <laughs> All right, this is gonna get really close here. One health, one health. If you can deal three damage, I'm dead. Uh, I did see the Gromish go, so unless he has like a second. Uh, the be well All right. So I actually had a pretty hard time against this deck. Of course, I did. You can't expect me to know that this deck actually runs uh, Deathwing. So yeah, let's try this one more time. <laughs> and let's hope that we get lucky. Sweet two game win. Oh my goodness, it's freaking Hunter. Let's go hunt. Alright, so it really depends on what kind of hunter deck this is. Um, I've got a pretty good hand against hunter, I think. Greetings, friend. So let's say hello. Greetings, traveler. And then watch him coin Arcane Shot to the face or something. Uh, you know what? I don't want to totem against a hunter. If I can avoid it. So that's a 3 drop. I'm guessing this is the animal companion. Yep. Liok doesn't do too much for him. <laughs> so let's see if he actually swings at me here. Um, like that. That's not a bad move, I think. So do I double earth shock this? I don't think I do. I do totem here though. So that was technically a card for a card. That's why it's pretty even here. And you know what? I really want to know what that is. So we're gonna My do this. I wanna prop this in. Yep. That's not too bad. Hmm. 
that is, as a matter of fact, a really curious card to see here. Um, My seal for our like, I wouldn't normally do that, but I think just because I have the Earth Elemental and the Lightning Storm in my hand, I would. So I'm guessing he has another one, which is why he did that. See the tiger comes out of hiding. Pray for the... Ah, uh, looks like no luck there. I would never recommend doing that, but <laughs> I didn't see much of a choice. Like, if I got the um, spell power one, I would have been in great shape. So, I'm guessing this is the starving bug, uh, not starving bug, but the uh, yeah, unleash combo. Here comes the timber wolf. No timber wolf. Oh, he's gonna be pretty sad after seeing what happens next. So this deck was not meant to fight this kind of aggro decks, but oh, it's supposed to do fairly well, but not meant for to be very strong against the mid-range hunter. You know what? I think I don't have a choice here. We could three. Four, five. You know, I think I'm gonna play a little bit greedy here. Like I would never ever recommend that, but I think in this situation it was fine. Put this apple on your head. Okay, so apparently this is not the mid range. Oh, it is the mid range. That is so weird. Okay, so I'm definitely hexing this. And uh, probably gonna play the. Oh, that's a beautiful draw for me. Okay, let's heal up. Really powerful turn. So yeah, pretty fancy deck here. So let's just show it off a little bit. But first let's just open a pack, since I missed a couple of days. Let's see if we get lucky here. Still rough, so nothing too great. Uh, so let's just show off the deck once again. There we go, the sh so called control shaman here. Uh, first of all, the two earth shocks because, as you can see, earth shocks are amazing, especially with spell power, which we have in the form of Blood Mitch Thalnos and Azure Drakes, as well as spell power totem, lightning bolts, great removal. Uh, 
the rock biter weapons I think it's a must in every shaman deck this gives you a little bit of extra kick when you need when you need it uh, Stomp for, uh, Forge X I run a single one you could run two but I don't see any point uh, especially against with so much aggro you don't want to be swinging in with your face uh, Thanos is again just for the spell damage and it recycles very well uh, Flame Tongue Totem extra kick once again Feral Spirits is a must against aggro Hex is a must against control Lightning Storm no, exp no explanation is needed here this is a must against aggro uh, Big Game Hunter uh, helps with handlock this is usually the card that makes a huge difference uh, Mana Type Totem is a really good uh, card draw mechanic the, in fact, it's the only card draw mechanic outside of the Thanos. Uh, we got two Unbound Elementals, two Chilwin Yetis, two Defender of Argus's. All these are just for control decks. The Azura Drex is card draw as well. This is really powerful against Zoo, the Earth Elemental. We have the Karen because it's a great control card. Um, the Fire Elemental is a really strong body, a 6 5 or 6 that does 3 damage. A really powerful card and Ragnaros is the finisher. Uh, you could swap out Rag for like something like uh, Alakir, it's entirely up to you, but I prefer the Rag just because if you get this against a control hunter, it's really, really, really powerful. Like, you don't have to worry about traps or uh, anything like that, you just play it and then it does its own thing. So, yeah, that'll be all for me for this video, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and if you did, hit that like button and I'll have another one for you soon. This is JP signing out.